Welcome to my channel and or page, whatever you're watching. My name is Ashley Morgan and I am a chef. Um, I am classically trained, but I have not worked in a kitchen in plenty of years. And so I just kind of am on a kick of just like sharing recipes. I took a month break and now I'm back. And so over this break that I took to kind of like revitalize my mind, I've been having like my, like my spidey senses have been tingling. And so the recipes are just like, I enjoy Asian culture. And when I say Asian, I mean all of it. Indian, Singaporean, Thai, <laughs> Vietnamese, all of it. Chinese, I love all of it. Okay, I love all the food. Korean, all of it. And I'm also Jamaican, so I like to incorporate those two those two cultures together if you hear that's happening in the back my dog just got a new bone and she's just having a blast over there and so she's just watching that <laughs> anyway i'm supposed to do my spice senses have been tingling with this recipe for a while and i actually am in the process of writing a cookbook and so in that cookbook this recipe is in there i wrote the recipe out but i never actually did it so i want to make a oxtail steam bun and i have been having this idea in my mind for a while I just never came around to actually doing it, but now it's time, and so here we are. And so I have my oxtail right here. So my oxtail is washed with vinegar and lime. I know people say you're not supposed to wash your meat, but, and I know you're not supposed to wash your meat, but no, <laughs> we're not doing that. And so um, I have bouillon here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of chicken bouillon in here. I'm gonna do all my dry seasonings first. I'm not gonna put too much. Some onion powder, I'm gonna put that in there. Ginger powder, I also have ginger paste, which I need to get rid of, but I'm gonna use both. Allspice. I have thyme. I only have a little bit in here. That's probably about a tablespoon. I have a scotch bonnet pepper, the whole thing. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna cut this up because I want it to be spicy. I don't, one thing about me, I don't play around with spice, I love spice. I really wanna put a bird's eye chili in here, but I'm gonna chill out. I love spice a lot. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of curry powder in there. I use only curry powder I use if I'm not using like green curry paste or like yellow curry paste. Um, I'm using Blue Mountain. Every other curry is kind of trash at this point and so I don't even bother experimenting with other curries because it just don't hit the same way that Blue Mountain hits. And Blue Mountain is a Jamaican brand. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. It comes in hot and also regular so I will definitely check them out. Um, adobo, I'm gonna put a little bit because I already put bouillon in here and I don't want it to be too salty, so there's that. And I'm gonna add brown in. I'm going to add soy sauce. Rinse this off. This is my roasted garlic paste. Um, I, I, need some, I need to make a new one because I'm almost out. Um, and it's just roasted garlic crushed down to a paste. And so it's just, to me, tastes better than just regular garlic. It has a lot more flavor. It's really good and it's it's sitting in olive oil and so it's just fire. Um, and so there's that. I'm going to add some ginger paste and then I'm going to add my green seasoning. This recipe is coming soon. I actually already just made a full fresh batch. I don't really like the way the video came out, but I'm still gonna show it anyway because a lot of people ask me, what is that green stuff that you're putting in your recipes? This consists of lime, garlic, onion, um, cilantro, parsley, a um, little bit of vinegar. Um, what else is in here? Definitely scotch bonnet, definitely scallion, definitely thyme. Um, there's a whole bunch of herbs and seasonings, so it's just like this one thing has so much flavor. Boyan is in here as well. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff, and so you really don't need a lot of extras with it, but no lack. So I'm not really gonna add any fresh. Normally, if I was in regular oxide, I would add onion, pepper, all the extras, but I'm not going to. Um, that was ginger paste, and then this is ketchup. That's about a tablespoon as well. Oh, maybe like a half a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna take my hands and just kind of just mix this all together. I would normally marinate this, but I really wanna get this going now. And so that tomorrow when I'm ready to kind of like do the mixture, I don't have to wait for the cook because oxtail takes a pretty little while. She's gonna be cooking in a slow cooker and so she will be fine. It's gonna be an amalgamation of flavors, okay? 
The other thing I forgot to add is a little bit of brown sugar. All right, that's good enough right now. Um, and so this is my oxtail. Should I do it on camera? <laughs> so every time I cook meat, I taste my meat. I taste the seasoning on it. So I dip my hand in it really quick, taste it on my tongue. I have not died yet. And so I'm not gonna die. But I always, that's really good. Okay, I'm excited about that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and um, stir it on the stove, transfer it to a crock pot and, a, and add a little coconut milk to it. And I'm gonna allow it to cook for on low for a few hours and so we'll come back later on today all right and so we're at the stove and so i'm going to turn my stove on okay a little bit of oil and then i'm going to go ahead and sear it on this pot and then transfer it into the crock pot so let go put those brown and then i'm going to flip them over and i'm going to get my crock pot set up so that we can transfer them over and then Bada bang, bada boom. The reason why we're browning it, <coughs> ooh, that pepper is in there, is we're trying to deepen the flavor and also get a little caramelization with the seasoning. So the fawn that's going to be on the bottom is going to add a lot more flavor. And so that's what we're trying to do. Also, browning your meat, from what I have been told, can't confirm nor deny. But it also seals in a lot of moisture, and so that is what we're looking to do. Um, I'm more so looking to deepen the flavor. Now that it's to where I want it to be, I'm going to transfer these into my crock pot. So now we're just going to transfer it into the crock pot. I'm going to go ahead and add these in there, one by one, single layer. It's not a lot, so I mean, <laughs> a single layer is not that hard. <laughs> but um, we're just going to stack them in there. On I like for it to be a single layer because I'm not going to add too much liquid, and so I want it to kind of all get be able to simmer and not having them lumped on top of each other turn the stone back on and i'm gonna go ahead and add my liquid to the pot this is just coconut milk added to the seasoning that was already inside the bowl do not waste this fond i promise you it's so good so i'm about done i'm just gently using my rubber spatula and gently scraping against the bottom i'm not moving any force towards it i'm just Gently moving it. <laughs> now that that is good, I'm gonna turn the stove off and pour this over my oxtail. Oh my god, that smells so good. And so I'm gonna put the top on this, place it on a low, and we're just gonna let that go. For probably like five or six hours, maybe 10 more, I don't know. So we're about to make the dough right now. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my wet ingredients first. So I have one cup of milk. I have in my sugar. Um, my salt, I'm gonna throw that in there too. And then I have a half a teaspoon of salt, yeast, um, instant rice yeast. I don't have time to be sitting here <laughs> waiting for yeast to proof. Let me get time for that. So this is bread flour. I'm just gonna mix it together. Um, bread flour is a little bit lighter than regular flour, and so I like that. And then I also have a little bit of flour on the reserve over here to kind of help me um, mix my dough because I'm doing this all by hand. And so, you know, I want to add a little bit of flour, oh, well, a good amount of flour because it still needs a little bit more work. I'm using unbleached bread flour and I'm going to go ahead and just add this dough to my work surface. And so I'm just going to go ahead and knead. It's gonna take me a little while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and knead and then come back because I have to basically build the gluten in this. And so in order to do that, I'm gonna to have to knead for <laughs> at least 10 minutes. So here's my dough. I'm going to go ahead and cover it up with saran wrap. She's clanging. She's clanging one for dear life. Beautiful, nice and tight, just like you like. So we're gonna go ahead and um, let her rest till tomorrow. Dough, I have my dough right here. Okay, so I transferred my oxtail into a bowl. I took it off the bone and shredded it. And then I put it back into the liquid that it was in and reduced it all the way down, all the way down. And so this is why I said it's very important to not put too much salt in seasoning or seasoning with salt in it. I was very particular about the amount of bouillon and the amount of salt I put on this. And so it's not salty at all. 
and it's good, okay? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna transfer this dough onto this work surface. I'm gonna cut this into half. I'm actually gonna put the other half back inside the bowl. And I'm just gonna work with one half. Okay, so I made one. And so what I do is I just take it in my hand. This is just the, the, the easiest way for me to do it. And I stretch it out. And then I kind of just like try to get the edges to stick to the board so that's easier for me to fill. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill the center with my oxtail mixture. And then try not to touch the oxtail. I'm just gonna try to gather all the ends and kind of pinch it over, shoot, so that it doesn't Just kind of just like just trying to get it all closed up and then once I have it I'm just going to continue to keep pinching and pinching and pinching and pinching until I feel like the bottom is as closed as it could be I'm going to gently just take my take it in my hand like I'm making a meatball and just cup over it and just kind of move it constantly checking the bottom to make to make sure that I don't have um anything sticking out but I just want to try to get the top as smooth as I can and then once I'm done shoot once I'm done I go ahead and pick it up and just kind of curve it like that and boom another steam bun okay steamer I purchased this at Namde Moon I'm sure you can get it on Amazon and take the top part off be really careful because it is very hot I'm gonna take the ones that I made and put it right here. And so I think that looks pretty good to me. We're gonna go ahead and cover them up, allow them to steam for about 12 to 15 minutes. Cover the time with Troop. I'm so nervous. This is so nerve wracking and I am so nervous. All right, let's go. Ah! Wow, they look so good. They could be a little bit better, but for a first time, that's not bad. So I went ahead and um, just sliced one open with a knife. Look at that. That looks really good. I'm not gonna lie to you. And that is a wrap. I really like the way that these came out once I like split it down the middle. Look so, <laughs> they look so good. I'm really proud of myself. My oxtail, fire, period. I cannot wait to share the rest of the ideas that I have in my head. I am just really experimenting. I think the biggest issue with the smoothness is the fact that I don't have a stand mixer and kneading it by hand is a lot of work. I was literally kneading it for like 15 minutes. <laughs> and so I think that, um, I think that I need to get a stand mixer because I do want to do a few other things. Like I have another idea, which is what that stuff is over there, that I want to go ahead and try tomorrow. And so we're gonna see how that goes. But I'm really proud of this one. Like this was really good. Like the same way I envisioned it being in my head is the same way it was. Be sure to subscribe and share this video. I'm really proud of this and I kind of want to share it with everybody. And so if you could share this video, that would be great. <laughs> recipe will be down below. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much. Let me know if you like this and I will continue to do more. And if you have any ideas of recipes you have thought about fusing together, let me know and I will definitely see what I can do. And so thank you guys for watching my channel. I love you all so much. Deuces.